Hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I uh, hope you had a wonderful Saturday. I got some laundry done. I changed my things behind me. I don't know whether I like them or not. Um, yeah, I put some things up on my walls in here. I'm trying to make it more like how I think I want it. But I don't know. I may change it back. Who knows? So, anyway, I had an awesome day. I did that. I cleaned out my utility room. Did some laundry. So, I want to talk to you today about are you redeemed? Are you redeemed? Do you even know what that is? Do you know what redemption is? We're going to find out. We're going to dive into some scripture. First, we're going to dive into some prayer. And, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Got lots of gray hair showing today. But my hair's clean. My hair's clean. Um, looks better on the second day than it does on the first. All right. God, we just thank you for all the many things that you do for us, God. We just thank you for that you're on your throne and you're in control, God. It seems like things are so messed up right now, God, but you have a plan and a purpose for everything, everything that happens, and it all has to happen according to your perfect will and your perfect timing, God, so we just trust you. We put our trust in you, God. We thank you that you are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector, our shelter in the storm. You are our strength and our refuge. God, you are all that we need. God, you are mighty and beautiful and powerful. And you are the righteous judge. You will judge all unrighteousness. That is what your word says. But God, you are also kind and compassionate and long-suffering and faithful and wanting none to perish. God, we just thank you for calling us as your children and for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just cry out for the lost people, the people that do not know Jesus as their Savior, God. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray also for the prodigals to come home, God. We pray for them to see where they are, to return to you and repent and let you reconcile the relationship that y'all once had. God, we also pray for all truth to be revealed. There's so many lies, God. Just so many, and they're so blatant too, God. And a lot of them just don't even make sense. But you see that, God. You hear that. We just pray for all truth to rise to the surface, God. For all truth to be known in our country and all over the world, God. We pray for a Jesus movement that cannot be stopped. We pray for peace and unity and love and mutual respect to reign again, God, and for us to be one nation under God and not divided like we are right now. God, we just pray for um, all the disasters that are happening, God. We pray for all these countries that are in turmoil. We just pray that you would be with them, God, that you would meet their needs. We pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength in their time of loss. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, hey, my friend Josie, how are you? I was a little late tonight. <laughs> so I'm sorry that I'm late, but I got caught doing some laundry, putting some laundry up so I can put some more up later, and that way I'm not having to do two loads, put two loads up. I'm just having to put up one. So tonight we're going to talk about uh, redemption and are you redeemed? Have you been redeemed? And so... This 
these words popped into my head today. And so I shared this song earlier. Um, it is not a new song. It's been around for a while called um, I Am Redeemed by Big Daddy Weave. And so this song and message popped into my head this morning by Big Daddy Weave. I love the lyrics of this song in this lyric video also. I love the pictures in this video. Uh, my words, I am redeemed through Jesus. He is my redeemer through his sacrifice on the cross. Jesus makes all things new when he comes into our lives as our savior. God wants the world redeemed. Jesus died for every soul that God created. He died for all. He paid it all. We are redeemed through his sacrifice for us. I have been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. Have you? If not, accept Jesus as your savior by calling upon his name now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish, John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. So that's what I wrote this morning about that with that song. Maybe go back and listen to that song and listen to the lyrics of that song. They are so powerful. So um, now we can jump into some scripture. And I did not have time to number them. Well, I had time. I just didn't number them. So we're just going to probably do about five. I'm going to look through here and see which five look like they might be the best to go with this lesson. Maybe I can stand them up right here. No, I can't stand them up in front of the camera. It doesn't even like to be close to the camera. Okay, well, we'll just put it over there then. Um, Ephesians 1-7. I think I like it on this side over here better. Uh, sorry, I have a little pop-up thing coming up. Okay, Ephesians 1-7. Let's just look them up as they're in here. My husband's out mowing. Somebody's out mowing my yard. I hope there's no bees out there or anything. Ephesians 1 7 Sorry, it's kind of loud Hi Josie, how are you? Okay, Ephesians 1 7 says In whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to read of that. I really like the, you know what, I'm going to go back to one. That's my problem. I can't, I can't just take the verse. I want to know what's before it and what's after it. So Ephesians 1 says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, and according to the good, ple good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the Beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, 
wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself. So that just made much more sense, and that was just so great. So he chose us before the foundation of the world. He knew that me and my friend Josie were going to be his children. He chose us. If you're his child, he chose you to be his child. He chose you. And he predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. So he predestinated us. You know, uh, there are religions that say, hey, God knows who is going to be saved and who's not. So we're okay with that. But that's not what Jesus told us to do. He told us to go and make disciples. Because we don't know who's going to be saved and who's not. Because we don't know people's hearts and minds. But God does. He does. He knows who will accept his son as their savior. He already knows. But that doesn't mean that we throw in the towel and we just, you know, that's not what he has called us to do. So Galatians 2.20. Whoops, I went too far. I don't have music again tonight because I didn't get it set up. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. So we are crucified with Christ, but we live. We live like Christ lives. And Christ lives in us. And we live by faith. All right, let's look at Colossians 1 14. Not sure where Colossians is. I think it's back here. Colossians is not but like a page or two or three long. So it's not very long. Okay, I'm going to start with 21. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard in which has preached was preached to every creature which is under heaven whereof I Paul am made a minister who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. Okay, so where is it? Oh, you know what? I am reading the wrong thing. Again, I'm so bad at that lately. Okay, well, let's start with uh, Colossians. I was looking, I guess, at what was at, below it. Colossians 1.14 says this. Actually, I'm going to start with 13. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins? Who is the image of the invisible God? the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, 
whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And so God created all things, and he created us too. We are redeemed through the blood of Christ for what he did, and he forgives us of our sins. And God created all dominions and all powers and all principalities and all things that are visible and invisible. God created all of them and all these things are before God. Okay, so starting in Colossians 1 20 through 22, it says, And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by, worked, by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Okay, so that's what we read a while ago in error. Uh, I've got to read the numbers better. Okay, so let's move on to let's go to Romans 3 <clears throat> 24 through 26. And this may be the last one. I don't know. I don't know. There's one in Psalms that looks pretty good. Okay, 3, 24 through 26. Okay, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God to declare I say at this time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus where is boasting then it is excluded by what law of works nay but by the law of faith Okay, so again, another one about Jesus offers us grace and um, we get redemption through Jesus, only through Jesus. Okay, let's read Psalm. 119. That is Isaiah. I am a bit sleepy. I apologize. I am like, I needed some coffee, but I want to sleep tonight. I, I struggle to sleep on Saturday nights for some reason, so I wanted to sleep. 119.9 says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Well, that's not right. At 111.19. There is no 111.9. 111.9. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever, holy and reverend in his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. So redemption comes from Jesus. We are redeemed through Jesus. So when we are saved, it is like... Oh, it's in my notes what it's like 
so I'll read it in my notes. It is like a buying back, a buying back. When we are redeemed, we are bought back. Kind of like you redeem a coupon. Uh, the redemption is traded for us. Okay, so my notes are not very long. Um, he said, child, I see your pain. Give it to me. Rest in me. Trust me to fulfill your needs in your obedience. Pieces are falling into place. Trust me and my perfect timing and my perfect will. Don't just say you trust me. Trust me. I hear your prayers and your cries for my help. I'm working out the details, so quit trying to help me. Just relax, child. Just relax. Do try to organize your summer with goals for your son. Achieve the goals this summer, child, for him. Introduce him to new things, child. Help him to learn to play on his own. This is the key to his independence. Wean him from the TV and tablet slowly. Give him choices too. I said, okay, God, I will try some of these things today. I will try it after potty and bath time. My best ideas and most successful ideas come from you, God. Thank you. I need a collapsible table that will go over the potty for him to do things on the potty also. This is kind of personal, but these are some of my goals. Um, less videos. I said, thank you, God, for meeting me today and helping me problem solve today. God will help us problem solve if we ask him. Um, thank you for the problem solving mind and all the ideas to help this summer too. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I have a shadow. I don't know what the shadow is about. I don't know. But I didn't have it yesterday. Okay. I love you too, my child, and it is my pleasure to help my children problem solve to make their lives better and to fit the plans and purposes that I have in their lives. My children needed a redeemer, so I sent my son to redeem the world, to buy them back from the enemy through his precious blood. That's what Jesus did. He bought us back from the enemy. We no longer, if you're redeemed, you no longer belong to the enemy of man. You belong to Jesus. Oh, property of, property of Jesus. I have my property of Jesus t-shirt on. So I belong to Jesus. I am the property of Jesus. He paid a high price for me to be, for me to be obedient to me. I will always help you make a way. But you have to listen and obey me to see my process in all things, child. The reunion is soon, so be ready. Organize today. Total peace, love, joy, and beauty are yours at the end of your journey. So finish strong behind Jesus, your Redeemer. And I said, Maranatha, God. So I didn't have a long conversation with him today. And I have been busy today. And I haven't had time to set goals, but today's not over. I have my phone. I can do that on my phone and transfer it over to my computer. So all is not lost. Uh, how do we want to do the salvation message tonight? I kind of like that little thing, the answer that we did last night. But let's do something that is simple since I'm so sleepy. And I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy. I probably will not be on here for very long. All right, this is an invitation to God's heaven. It is not my heaven. It is God's. It belongs to him. He created it. He created, we read well ago. He created uh, everything. 
he created. Where do we read that? I don't know, but he created everything. He created the principalities. He created created the <laughs> dominions. He created um, the visible and the invisible. You know, he created it all. It all belongs to him. That's all his. So this is God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? Has anybody ever invited you into... Um, God's heaven. There's only one way. The time is now to respond to his invitation. So Jesus is the only way to heaven. So here are some scriptures. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Oh, excuse me. But God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6, 23. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. If you'll look over my shoulder, I'll have to move. There is a picture. I don't know which way to move it. Okay, that way. There is a picture of the New Jerusalem. I did not paint that. I got it when I first started to work for the Promise in the downtown office. They had a bunch of them. And so I asked them if I could have one. So I've had it ever since. And now I really enjoy looking at it on my wall. So, um, this is what it says. This is what John said. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. I look forward to this, to seeing this, or even already being inside when this comes down. I think it is going to be spectacular. Like, nothing that we have ever... This picture is beautiful, but my theory of pictures in heaven is that very few people have been let in to see really what it looks like. But that is a beautiful picture. I love that picture. Okay, well let's continue with the salvation process. Because if you're not redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, by Jesus, then now is the time to be redeemed. Alright, I got a floating head experience going on there. Now i got to cut off the head experience. Okay. Alright, so this is the prayer. I'm going to leave spaces so you can repeat. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus is God's one and only Son. I believe you died on the cross for my sins 
You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I'll turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In your name I pray. Amen. So if you said that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified. It is not the prayer that saves you. It is the belief of who Jesus is. And asking him to forgive you, to give you a new life, to make your life new. That's what redemption is. Redemption is you trade your old life for a new life. You can only do that through through Jesus. And um, do you take some time every day and read God's Word. Read God's Word. Start in Matthew. Learn more about Jesus. And also pray. Spend time speaking to God in prayer. In praise. Find you some praise music and praise. Pray for God to lead you to a church and uh, follow in obedience and baptism. But being redeemed and being saved is step number one. So I have a blessing from God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace so we all need peace and i don't know why this is so short tonight because <laughs> last night i went over an hour but i am trying to shorten things i really am because um i know when i go on youtube and i want something to watch i don't want to watch something over an hour because it just takes too long to watch it so I think about 35 to 45 minutes is a good length of time and uh, it's a good commitment for someone to uh, be able to watch and if you think of any scriptures that you think go with redemption or any songs just put them in the comments and if you need any prayer requests put it in the comments if you have any comments put it in the comments um, you're welcome here. God loves you. Whether you accepted Jesus tonight or not, God loves you. And he has a plan and purpose for you. But he wants you to be redeemed by his son. All right, well, let's pray. Let's pray. God, I just thank you for um, all the many things that you do for us, God. There's just so many. We name a few every day, but God, there are just so many that you do. You care about us. You love us. You want a relationship with us, God, and we thank you for that. God, we just pray. We do pray for the lost, God. We just pray that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray, God, for... I pray for Josie and her family, God. I pray that Josie would feel better, that you would heal her body. 
I pray for her sisters and their families and her brothers and their families and her children and their families, God. I just pray for peace and protection and uh, provision and blessings, God. I pray that if any of them do not know Jesus as their Savior, that you would allow them to be drawn. God, we just pray. We praise you that Mike and the boys are feeling better. And we just I still have some unspoken prayers, God. I just lift them up to you. Pray that you would attend to them according to your will and your way. And God, we just pray that you would help us to stay in your presence, that you would help us to testify of all your goodness, and that you would also help us to encourage others. Help us, God, to walk in the ways of Jesus, to walk in the Spirit, to walk in righteousness. Give us strength every day to be able to stand up to the truth to be able to share your truth and to share the gospel of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, my friends, I know I haven't been on here for very long and I came here late, but I think I've done everything that I came here to do. I feel like I have left something out, but I did that. I did the scriptures. I did the quiet time I did the blessing I did the prayer so I think I'm done so have an awesome rest of your night an awesome tomorrow which is Sunday I pray that you have a chance to go and worship with your church family if you don't have a church family come worship with ours uh, we are the Walnut Springs Baptist Church and we are in Walnut Springs, Texas, but you may be far from Walnut Springs, Texas, but you can go online. Look us up online, and you can watch online. Um, but we have Sunday school at 9.30, and we have church at 11. And that is where I will be tomorrow, unless God has other plans for me. And uh, so much love. I'm getting better at making the heart. Much love and cyber hugs. Until I see you again, good night.